thank you, thank you. I have to tell, say, I was the one that broke the Vine news and I never got the credit. <laughs> and I never got the credit and I never got the credit. Um, <laughs> machine learning, neural networks, facial recognition, artificial intelligence. These phrases are no longer the sole province of engineers and developers. They may still sound like science fiction, in fact, they're being used every day out in the real world and, many of the, uh, and by many of the innovators right here in the room. And the fact that these technologies have come so far, so rapidly, owes an awful lot to the pioneering work of Professor Jan LeCun, starting almost 20 years ago. Yeah, a bit of, bit of whooping is fine, <laughs> fine. Uh, as the founding director of New York University's Center for Data Science, Jan LeCun has been a pioneer in the field of machine learning uh, right back since the 1980s. He's authored over 180 academic papers, including one of the first versions of the back propagation algorithm, which is the method used, I'm hearing, I'm hearing nodding in the front row there, it's the method used to train artificial neural networks, we all know that. Um, at AT&T Bell Labs, Jan created the convolutional neural network, again, again familiarity there. Uh, an extremely accurate and flexible pattern recognition system. It was initially used to decipher handwritten characters, but has since evolved to help improve everything from speech recognition to defeating the top player in the world at the game of Go. After a tremendous spike in popularity during the late 80s and early 90s, machine learning had become unpopular as it was outpaced by less data and processing intensive algorithms. Many talented computer scientists just abandoned the field. But through this AI winter, as it's often been described, Jan was among only a handful of scientists who believed in its potential and continued to innovate. Currently working as head of the Artificial Intelligence Research Lab at Facebook, Jan LeCun's list of contributions to computer science is far too long to cover in the time we have tonight. But let's have a look at a video which sheds a little light on how his, break on how his breakthroughs have an impact on our everyday lives. <laughs> 